What is going on guys? It is your boy Tropical NHL back here today for my second Habs review of this season. Tonight the Maple Leafs were facing the Montreal Canadiens in Toronto and yeah it, w it wasn't the best game I've seen in my life. Uh, it, it was kind of boring I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it probably wasn't the best uh, lineup Martin Saint Louis could have uh, could have come up come up with with um, to develop the young guys uh, and see what they can bring into uh, the NHL. I think it would have been much better with Drouin over Slavkovsky because that first line of Army and Pitlick with Slavkovsky was kind of like, eh. it wasn't the right fit in my opinion. I think that Slavkovsky is the type of winger that benefits uh, of playing with talented guys. Nothing against Armia and Pitlick, but they are bottom six uh, guys, fourth line guys, and Slavkovsky needs to play with talented guys to really see what he can bring into the NHL. So it was kind of like not the best of ideas. Maybe uh, it would have been better for them to play Evgeny Dadanov instead uh, of Jonathan Drouin because their Drouin was sick. Uh, but yeah, uh, definitely need Slavkovsky to play with more talented guys. Uh, a guy like Cole Caulfield could be interesting. Seeing uh, Slavkovsky we play with Mike Hoffman as well could be interesting. Like real offensive talent, real NHL offensive talent. Uh, it will happen for sure uh, as, until the end of training camp. But uh, for now, yeah, Slavkovsky, he did some good things. He cut a lot of passes. Uh, he played good. Uh, he did nothing wrong like uh, all the games he, he played before at the uh, rookie camp and uh, the game versus the Devils. He did nothing wrong. Didn't make turnovers. He was good on the four check. Uh, he cut some passes. With, was good defensively. And at the end of the game on the power play, he showed some flashes offensively. Uh, he got like two scoring chance in the span of like 15 seconds. He took two shots. And then he almost deflected a pass, I think it was from uh, Owen Beck, uh, and it almost went in. So uh, definitely saw some good things coming out of um, Uri Sovkovsky. So it's going to be interesting seeing with who he's going to play the next game he plays. I don't think he will play tomorrow, uh, but he will for sure. Uh, the game after is going to be really Interesting watching this and I would play him with either Dodonov, Hoffman or Caulfield in the in the next game. Maybe a guy like Drew Wayne as well could be good, but a real offensive talent. Um, I know he played with a guy like Kirby Doc, uh, but I don't think that Kirby Doc is a right fit as well to play with Slavkovsky. So I would want to see him play with a fast offensive guy like Hoffman or Caulfield. It would uh, probably benefit him a lot because he's the type of winger that needs talented offensive player to do uh, good offensively. But he really did some good things defensively uh, in this game. Our Bergerkai played his first game uh, in preseason and he, he was all right. He was all right. Nothing too special. He was rough. He was rough with uh, the Maple Leafs forwards. Uh, got some good hits. Finished his check. He was good on the on the on the four check as well. And um, yeah, he, he did he did all right. He did all right. Uh, there's definitely room for for improvement. But Arbor Jakai, you see in his play that he's going to play in the NHL eventually. It might not be at the beginning of the year, but I think he will get some games during the season. And I think that he will definitely be an NHL defender in the near future. Uh, he took a penalty. Uh, like expected, he was first in the OHL and in, uh, in the penalty minutes uh, ranking last season. So uh, he might need to work on that. But if he gets the intensity, I'm okay with him taking some penalties. Uh, he did good. He did all right. Nothing too special, but he did. He did all right. Uh, I'm, I was impressed still with Jordan Harris. They played him a little bit more on the left on some occasions during the game. Uh, he looks better on the left, but if they need to play him on the right, I'm sure he will do fine. Even though it's not like the best thing for him, but uh, yeah. It's going to be interesting watching Jordan Harris if he's going to play on the left side or on the right side. Good news is that uh, Justin Barron uh, played really really much better this game. Uh, he looked less rusty. He got some good opportunities. He played solid defense as well. Uh, he looked really, really 
better uh, in that game and it's kind of encouraging seeing that Justin Barron is getting the rust off he was injured this summer so uh, might be the reason why he looked rusty in the first few games he played but he definitely it definitely was his best game so far and I'm sure he's only going to get better and that might mean he will start the season in Montreal uh, we never know uh, the guy looked all right this game and it's going to be interesting seeing how he develops during uh, training camp and see who he's gonna play with as well who he's gonna find some chemistry with and yeah really good game for Justin Barron he was one of the best players for the Canadians tonight for sure uh, the best player for the Canadians for me was Philip Machar he did really well he did really really well uh, he has hands it's actually unbelievable uh, the guy looks like a, a first round pick like he looks like a, a top 15 pick out there so it's going to be really fun following his development this year uh, he, lo he looks like he's been adjusting uh, there's some improvement uh, during the last two games and tonight he was before he was way 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 better than he was against the Devils uh, he got a lot of scoring chance he could have easily scored two goals in that game and Philip Machar has a bright future in the NHL and uh, he's either gonna go to the Lava Rocket or in the OHL I don't think that he has much to learn in the OHL I feel like if he goes to Kitchener Kitchener is going to have a really good team uh he's going to be like two points per game so i i I'd rather him seeing him in laval and develop in professional hockey i think it would benefit him much more but uh yeah i would be okay as well for him to go dominate the ohl he's for sure gonna be a lot better next year even though he's really good um this year as well so yeah a1 a plus for uh, philip machart tonight he was really good and he impressed me the most uh, owen beck was a bit more disappointing tonight i mean he's 18 and that just shows that he needs to go back to the ohl some people were saying oh he needs to stay in montreal because he played a good first game but the guy is still young even though he looks in each already in some aspects of his game he needs to go back to junior to develop and get the confidence and everything he needs. Now he knows what he needs to work on to be an NHL player and that will help him a lot to develop. He will go back to Miss with Mississauga and have the best season of his young career. That's for sure. I expect him to get like 100 plus points in the OHL this season. So yeah, they need to send him back. Uh, there's no way he's going to stay in Montreal, even though he, he could do really well in the NHL if he plays this year, but that's not going to happen. The best for his development is to send him back into the OHL, a bit like they did with Caden Gooley last year. Caden Gooley was ready to play in the NHL, but they sent him back to the WHL, and he developed an offensive game. He developed a lot of things during that year, so I think that Owen Beck would benefit a lot uh, from getting the same treatment and go back to junior hockey. Um, another guy that, that impressed me is Emil Einemann. Emil Einemann, wow. The, the way he played in that third period was impressing. He, he had like four shots. Um, he was fast. Uh, he, his release is NHL ready. His shot is NHL ready. Um, it's just like the speed of execution sometimes and the way he plays defense, that's kind of meh. But offensively, the guy is NHL ready and he's going to be a really good player a really good forward bottom six forward in the future for the canadians same things with yes and they're both they, they are both similar players like ian and, and uh Einem and they played really really good in that third period i think it was the most um the the best line for the canadians in the third period and yeah definitely not the best game but we saw some good things as uh, samuel montabo uh, after the first shot i was like okay it's it's gonna it's gonna go bad we're gonna struggle in that but he he did really good afterwards he he, he got back to what he did last season a shitty goal and then after he turns into a god and kevin poulain did actually pretty decent as well he's going to be a good second goalie uh, for the level rocket uh, the guy looked all right he, he looked really all right i was impressed for with some of the saves he made and yeah I can't wait for tomorrow's game against the Winnipeg Jets. Uh, I'll be curious to see what the lineup's going to look like. 
uh, it's going to be a fun game to watch. I hope we see a goal because we saw one goal in two games and the, the first goal was in the first period of the last game. So uh, we need some goals. We need some goals to talk about. So give me some goals. Give me some goals. So yeah, let me know what you guys all think about this in the comments below. Uh, it's been the second apps review. Let me know if you guys enjoy these type of videos. I really enjoy making them. And yeah, it's been your boy Tropical NHL. And I'll see y'all later tomorrow or wherever when uh, for another video. Have a nice rest of your day. Have a good night for those who are watching right after the game. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.